Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Doodle Robot and today you have tuned in for the Robot Report. This is episode 5. Today's date is December 11th, Sunday of 2022. Probably my last Robot Report for 2022 as the next two week period we'll see the end of December so I'll do my November and December pages then. So uh, first we're going to do finished pages, then we're going to do some whips, then we're going to do my tiny purchases. Uh, <laughs> I already did a big, a big haul video of stuff that I purchased in November. I bought 18 books, yeah, <laughs> on um, Amazon's 3 for 2 sale. I'm not going to I'm not going to rehash those again. So if you want to see I I hit those sales hard. That's where I've gotten a lot of my books that actually do the 3 for 2 sales because basically I bought 18 books. I got 6 of them free. So that's that's pretty good. <laughs> so but like I said, I'm not going to redo that. If you want to see those, you'll have to tune into the to the massive haul video or whatever I called it. I believe it was for it was for 3 months, November, September, October, November, no, September, October, November, I believe it was for. So just stuff that I, I've gotten since then, which is a very tiny amount of stuff. And then I'm going to talk about um, group buddy color announcements, because there's some announcements on that front. All right, so let's see. I can't remember what order I did these in, but we'll just, maybe it was this order, actually. All right, so. Last time you saw this whip, Das Mangamania, I don't know what that says. This is by, I'm guessing it's illustrated by ba Boon Hao, or maybe not. I don't know. If I said that right, I don't know. It seems like that could be illustrated by, but I don't know. Uh, I finished the general B page. It's not your traditional B page, sorry. Not very traditional colors here. It's General B, and he's fresh from B Battle. He's got his little honey rider there. So yeah, so all I could see when I looked at him was like his armor, and I wanted to do it armor-like. So there's kind of a close-up. And, you know, this was probably supposed to be dripping honey, but I wanted him to be fresh from battle, so I made it blood, and then I splattered blood all over the place. I did not know when I started drawing or coloring this that uh, these were his wings. I thought they were background stuff, and so I started coloring them gray just to make them disappear. I was wondering where his wings were, but yeah, lately I've been having trouble seeing things in my coloring book. It's a running theme now. If you watched the uh, the polar <laughs> the polar bear picture. I couldn't understand why the cat was so big and had six arms, but you know, I digress. You can watch the last robot report for that. Um yeah, so I actually I made this these little things kind of like honey. I actually looked up colors of honey. Did you know honey, honey comes in like a multitude of colors? Uh, so there is like everything but the kitchen sink on here. There's alcohol markers. Lots of gel pen, water-based markers, Prismacolor pencils, more gel pen, um, dragonfly glaze to give the wings that shiny iridescent look, the big, the big bee wings, and throne paint. Oh, I did. I did Pixie's way of doing her blood, dripping blood or slime. It's from Pixie's project, so thanks, Pixie. I, I called that video up and watched it because it was a nice, easy, quick way to do it, so I wanted to do that. And then, like I said, just splattered red paint all over the place. Sorry, not your traditional bee picture. I hope I haven't mortified anybody. I'm really not a violent person. So that's uh, General Bee. And when I was doing the How Many Owls Did I Do tag by A Cluttered Life, I ran across this book. Oh, this is also, this is a Pixie purchase as well. So Pixie, you're featuring heavily today. 
I, I ran across this book and I'm like, oh, I gotta work on that book. It's got such cute monsters in it. And it does. Who's this by? Mm, I don't know. Does it say? Oh, oh my gosh. So, Daria S-H-C-H. -H. I don't know how to say that. But I was in a, I've been in a very Christmassy mood for some strange reason, so I did this little... This one is called The Christmas Blues. He looks so sad, the poor little guy. But he's got his tree branch for a horn with his little Christmas ornaments on it. Oh, and I was trying to get all crazy with this one. I was trying to go for sleet. In the background here. Uh, but, you know, I live in the desert, so I can't say that I really know anything about sleet whatsoever. Except that maybe it's kind of somewhere between rain and snow, possibly. I don't, I don't really know. Um, so yeah, I thought I'd get crazy and do it with all, like, make it colorful sleet. There were some lines in the background. Oh, let's see, I think I can show you. This is not numbered. Uh, oh, oh, it's number one. So this was, that was a little picture. There were lines in the background, which I'm assuming was supposed to be sleet. I don't think he's sitting against a wooden planked wall or anything. But yeah, I had fun with this. I, I was just going crazy, doing all my little doodles and stuff that I like to do on things. I didn't really alter it per se. I just doodled, doodled on stuff. Uh, so what do we use? Mostly alcohol marker. No, some alcohol markers, gel pens, paint pens, all kinds of stuff there. So that's the poor little, that's the Christmas blues monster. Thanks, Picky, Pixie, for uh, getting me this book. I like it. There's some more even Christmassy pages in here as well. Um, these monsters are so cute. I can't remember. There's at least one. Oh, yeah. I may do this one. It's Big Snows, I think, because he's a bundled up. It's so cute. This book is so good. All right, and then we did another Christmassy page in A Million Sea Creatures because this had been, been sitting on my thing a while and it was out. And I'm like, oh, there's a, there's a picture of sea stuff. So uh, that's by Lulu Mayo, of course. So let's get you moved in here. Now I did alter this page a smidge, but it already had... Santa cephalopod here um, and so I just I tried to make the water as like shiny and Christmas as, as I could uh, I used what did I use my color my folk art color shift paints the pastel ones pastel green I think it is and I gave there were already the presents there so it must be a it must be a, a Christmassy type scene, I did add little Christmas hats to all of the little fish where they have Christmas hats. So we used Prismacolors, Brutefooner Squares, various gel and paint pens, and like I said, the folk art color shift paint in the background. And I think that's it. I rather like how it turned out. Glad to have one done in my brand new book there. So that was A Million Sea Creatures by Lulu Mayo. And then I just finished today uh, this Japan book, or as we would say Japan. This is from Lyrica. And it took forever to get to me. It's a tiny book. I mean, how big is it? Oh, all right, this is almost seven inches. I'm pretty sure it's square. Yeah, almost seven by seven. Uh, I was shocked when I got this one because there is a lot of tiny stuff in this book, man. You need something that goes, you need a laser. <laughs> so, but I, you know, I didn't have plans on coloring in this one. It was just sitting there on my shelf and I, it called to me. So I reached out and and got it. There's a there's a flip through of this on Grumble Bunny's channel. That's why I bought it. It's all her fault, Grumble Bunny. But I love I love Asian Asian themed things. So 
I did this one. I keep having to move you in closer and closer. Okay, of the cranes, and I obviously took a lot of artistic license with the cranes. That's not really what they look like. But it's also a study in orange. I knew I wanted the, the I think it was probably supposed to be a moon page, but I don't know if you can see through, yeah, you can see them. It wasn't opaque enough to color those stars, but those stars are too tiny to color in. They probably look bigger on camera than they are in real life. They're too tiny to color in. So I wanted to make it more of a day picture. It's actually a study in orange. Can you tell? I've been watching elementary. I have Sherlock on my mind. Um, so yeah, it's just the crane page. It is, oh, I was inspired by Maya, colored by Maya. She had shown that she was using her Arctic's acrylic markers. They're acrylic ink. They're not really acrylic paint. Uh, she was using them everywhere, and I'm like, okay, I got to try that. So partially inspired by Maya, I was looking for somewhere that I could use those. So I used two colors of Arctic's acrylic markers. And then I used a Huhu water-based marker and that purple around the clouds. That's actually purple. I love how it vibrates vibrates against the orange colors. Um, that's a Tombow. And Prismacolor for the cranes. So those are all the done pages I have for the last two weeks or so. And we will look at whips now that I've piled books on top of them. In the same place, oh, now I'm going to have to move you out. In the same place that we were before, I did a whole Watch Me Alter a page in Carla Magana's Stardust Space Lust. And I did the Princess Leia gun. It looked like Princess Leia gun before I altered it. Now it looks like flower power gun with some flowers shooting out of it. Uh, I, I haven't done anything with that. I still have to I still have to color that. I was kind of hoping to make a video of me coloring that, but we'll see how it goes. It's the end of the semester. Things could get crazy. Things are crazy. So, And then the only other whip, well, I have a million whips, but the only other whip I worked on in the last two weeks was this one. I'm super excited about this one. Sorry for the sniffling. Chris, uh, Johanna's Christmas. This is one of my new books from the big hall. And I am, oh, I've already got it all dirty. Lots of spinning it around. I started painting this one. This is the crane page. And I was looking carefully. This is all paint thus far. The background is going to be plaid, like Christmas plaid. So I'm going to do reds and greens and golds and silvers in the plaid. It's going to be a busy plaid. Uh, but, you know, I was looking. I had to look up cardinals. I think they're cardinals. They're going to be cardinals now. I've decided. I don't know what they are, but now they're cardinals. Uh, this one's going to be the male. He's going to be red. This one is going to be female color, which is kind of, it's kind of like this color, but it's got more green in it. And then she's got kind of pinks and reds in her. And then the poinsettias are red. So I wanted something that those would stand out against. And I was kind of inspired by the female uh, Cardinals colors. And of course the rest is green. So Christmas plaid out here. I don't really know how the rest is going to go. I don't know what that will be or that will be, but that's where we are. This is all paint thus far. I think the plaid will be in paint markers, regular paint. This is just regular paint thus far. I used these colors. Cami, apple barrel cameo pink, apple barrel antique white. That's the antique white there and there. And then these are mixed together for that pink color. Otherwise, it was too dark. I have lots of extra saved here of the pink for later. Which is a tip, people. Save, save some in a little, like, to-go cup or something. Just keep adding water to it. It'll stay for a long time. It'll stay good for a long time. So yeah, I'm super excited about this one. I think it's going very nicely. That is Johanna Bassford. Christmas. All right, and so the only purchase I've made at the dollar store on Friday, because it's all because of Johanna Bassford's page, 
I actually have my own rulers, but I have had these rulers since high school and they work fine. There's nothing wrong with them except that every time I put them on a page because of this cork is, I can't even calculate how old that is, 30, <laughs> 25, 30 years old. Um, every time I set it down and especially on paint, it just leaves black marks everywhere. And I've know I've, I know I've tried to wash it before. I can't believe it's all still there. Oh, sorry. That was my initials there. Um, so I needed to get some that wasn't going to stay in the page anymore. So I opted for plastic with no cork on the back. So that's my new ruler. That is my one purchase for this two week period. Also my other... If you recall, oh gosh, where did I put them? I bought these. I think I showed these in my last robot report, and I've done a swatching of these, but there was one in here that didn't work and a couple that were super hard to twist, so I ordered a replacement pack. I've checked them. They all work. It's great. So that came. Everything else that I've ordered is not coming until this week or next week or the week after, but there's a lot of stuff. I'll just do a December haul for that. So, just my replacement thing came, in case you didn't see it. They look like this. This is pastel, dusty, and earth to earthy tones. They're gorgeous. They might be hard to see on camera. They're pretty light. Today's big project, I'm going to number them and tape them on the, on the little thing while they're still in order there. So, that's it on that front. And now we have... Buddy colors, group buddy colors to talk about. There's, our, our groups are getting kind of big. So let's talk about that. All right. So first I will talk about my December. Just This is, this is with Sherry. <laughs> Sherry Denowitz. That's her handle on Instagram. We're doing an Entangled Landscape one. We're doing this one with the little alien spaceships. That's very exciting. So... I should be starting that here pretty soon, maybe once our winter break starts for school. And other buddy colors to announce. We have a group of us ladies. It is, I've written it down. By the way, before we talk about that, I'm going to show mine. This is not, this is not Instagram worthy or anything, but I do keep copious notes on you know, pages I've done, what colors I use, so that even if I stop for a long time, which I have some whips that are, like, pretty old, I can go back to them and pick it pick it right up. And then I also keep track of um, a running list of my done pages. I ran out of room. That was my first book. This is my second book. It's nothing like all those cute books you see. Mine is just kind of down and dirty and gets the job done. I don't have the patience for those... Uh, bullet journal kinds of things that other people do but I also have a running list of completed pages here as well I thought I'd show that all right because I have notes here I need to refer to our group buddy color mid-century modern animals in this book was originally myself Carrie Kay colorful pirate and colored by Maya. There's a star there because on Instagram she's the administrator of this mid-century modern animals group. Um, we have since added because people wanted to be added. So if you want to be added and you have this book or you're on Instagram or whatever, let us know. We've added Jojo Hannah and Tammy Colors too. And that's how we communicate with each other through the DM at uh, Instagram. For January, we are doing this page. It's a wintry page, so we decided to save it for, you know, dead of winter after the holidays because we're all busy. Uh, the cats with the snowflakes, so I'm super excited about that. That is our January page. In Mid-Century Modern Animals by Jensky or Sky, I'm not sure how to say that. So, you know, if you want to join, let Colored by Maya know. Because, like I said, she is the... Oh, no, now I've lost it. 
she is the administrator on that account. And another group buddy color that seems to have taken off recently since I since I announced that I own Magic Dreamland and uh, did the flip through, people have come out of the woodwork asking me to do a buddy color. And so I thought, since so many people asked, I'm just like, okay, we're just going to make it a group. So uh, this is also going to be for the new year. I don't know, January, February, I don't know when. We haven't decided on a page. This is a gorgeous book. It's very yellow creamy. It's almost yellow green creamy. Beautiful color. It doesn't really pick up in the camera, though, what color it is. And it's got these cool little, on every page, the Sleeping City. So this is in Dreamland. That's what the Sleeping City is like. There's a flip through on my channel of this. In this group buddy color, which I just set up yesterday, I have a star by my name because I'm the administrator on that uh, Instagram group DM thing. Clearly out of my comfort zone there. We've got Carrie Kay, Colorful Pirate, A Cluttered Life, Inksmith, Jojoza Hannel, Hannah, and Bubble of Coloring is looking for the book. She wants it badly. I believe she lives in Europe and she's trying to find it for a reasonable price. So if you know where there's a reasonable price one, you could let her know. That's, that's us thus far. Like I said, this is for the new year because it's a busy time of year. So again, if you want to join... And you have the book, let me know, and I'll add you, I'll add you to the group buddy color thing. All right, that is it for this episode of the Robot Report. I thank you for joining me. I appreciate your time. I hope you have a wonderful week. I'll see you next time. Live long and prosper. Bye-bye.